this information public. He's also the former head of the Ministry of Defense's UFO project. So if anybody knows, we think it's you, Nick. So welcome to our program here from the Thames River in London. Now, you say that they've been trying to do this for about 30 years. How do we know that? Well, there are many cases which are now in the public domain about this. The Ministry of Defense here in Britain has been investigating UFOs uh, since the 1950s. Uh, but other countries as well have had these sorts of incidents. And I think it's a question of trying to put them together and see, see what pattern emerges. And we, there was a case in England... Uh, in 1957, where a pilot attempted to bring down a UFO by firing uh, rockets at it. There was a case in Iran in 1976. Um, the UFO, whatever it was, and we don't know, uh, managed to deactivate the pilot's air-to-air -air, um, weapon systems. Right, now, I find this offline. fascinating. Let's, uh, let's go through it a step at a time right now. Now, you said in your quote is saying that we want to shoot down a virtual dogfight between uh, UFOs You're and, kids, and uh, military jets. Dogfights. Uh, yeah, the, the dogfights. Yeah, absolutely. These things. Uh, the UFO issue suffers, I think, from a, a you know a, an image problem. But actually, if you look behind the, the silly season stories about this, these things are seen by pilots, they are tracked on radar, and there have been many, many incidents um, uh, on the record over the years Wait, Nick, of, if, of these sorts of things. If there was a dogfight, pardon the interruption here. Uh -oh.